Hey guys, it's Mads and today I am watching RuPaul's Drag Race season 15 episode 3. Welcome back if you've been following along with me. And if this is your first time seeing me, be sure to subscribe below if you want to continue to watch and react along with me. Alright, let's get to episode 3. He just left the first elimination and it's just really got real. Like, who's next? So... Robin mentioned it in Untalked that we used to date. And there was a time that me and Emma Fist dated for a short time. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know why I just completely forgot that Untalked was a thing until now. Stay tuned, I may start reviewing those as well. Because you only get half the story without Untalked. <laughs> decision to not pursue things further. Ultimately, I think we were looking for different things. That's fine. As of right now, that chapter is closed and will not be opening up anytime soon for me. Is anyone following what's going on here? So Amethyst was the one that ended things with Robin. Is Robin hurt over it now? And that's why she's like, I've moved on, I don't want to talk about it, don't ship us. Maybe Amethyst just wanted to keep things casual and Robin wanted something serious. I don't want us to prove them wrong because that sounds kind of bitter, but like, I kind of want to prove them wrong. I do agree with the judges that Anitra should have won the talent show. Where I disagree with the judges is that I was in the bottom. Oh, rest in peace to my hairline. I am angry and I'm embarrassed. Before, it was Lucy coming in confident, and now it's Lucy pissed off. And when I get pissed, I work even harder. These other girls better watch out. Woo! Okay, that's the law. So if she thinks that she shouldn't have been in the bottom, who does she think should have been in the bottom? Based on everyone else's performances and what we did see from her, I believe that she was meant to be in the bottom. For this week's maxi challenge, I want you to sell us your vision of the afterlife. Or should I say, the queer after. <laughs> <laughs> now working in three teams, you'll be responsible for coming up with every devilish detail and selling it in a divinely inspired infomercial. <laughs> Anitra, you won last week's maxi challenge, so you get to choose team number one. Uh, yes. Amethyst, you survived last week's lip sync, so you get to choose team number two. Yes. And whoever's not picked will form team three. Anitra, who do you choose first? Maximilian. I was like, who's Maximilian? <laughs> Anitra, who do you choose second? Sasha. As titties? Yeah. Oh. Who do you choose for your last choice? Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Oh. Honor to be a duckling, baby. All right. Maybe you can loan her some false eyelashes. <laughs> okay, Amethyst, who are you going to choose first? I think I'm going to start off with my good old gal pal, uh, Lulu Deluku. Oh, God. <laughs> Lucy Laduca, thank you. Right. Amethyst, who's next? Aura. Yes, of course, bitch. <laughs> and who's your next choice? Spice. Yes. All right, Amethyst, you have one more pick. Make it count. Um, Poppy. <gasps> yes. Sorry, losers. <laughs> Those words may haunt you. <laughs> I think because we have Sasha Colby, I think you need to be God. <laughs> you say, they say that God is a woman. And she is, but she's also a drag queen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, God is a charm. <laughs> it's a double-edged sword when people are expecting a lot from you, but I love a good challenge. What do you think a queer person, specifically a drag queen's idea of heaven is? Like, what are the first things that pop into your mind? Yeah, I think get your wings and a BBL. Oh, that's, that's really fun. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. 
I was thinking like gay icons. I would oh, do a Killer oh, Dolly Parton, oh, and it would be funny okay. if Dolly Parton was God. Oh, everyone loves Dolly though. Parton. Right. right. What about facials too? And then. Uh, that's hilarious. Hilarious. I love that. I love that. I love that. that. I'm so, I'm so, yeah. I'm living for you right now. Your ideas are amazing. I love <laughs> Poppy's just throwing out as much as she can. Lucy's also coming up with some really brilliant stuff, and I'm definitely intimidated. What Oh, baby Amethyst. I don't really like watching this. They're bulldozing over her. I feel like I've been there before. Where <laughs> you're like trying to talk, but everyone just keeps talking. You're like, I, and then you're like, do I give up? But essentially, she's the team leader, right? Girl be like, hello? I'm talking. <laughs> I'm under the magnifying glass, and I don't want to mess this one up. It needs to be queer heaven to think queer heaven. gay icons, think gay lingo, everything. Imagine if it was a place for all like the hungover bitches. I think your mind is going too crazy. If you have like a Beyonce look, if you have like a Russell Cohen, you could be like Diana Ross and like. Oh, we and look so fucked. It's like Beyonce, but it's like. No, bitch, like, like, we look sickly. No, no, that's like the comedy. It's like, that's Beyonce. And she, like, it kind of looks like her. And there's like a name, and it's like, it's like the cracked out Beyonce. Like, I'm yeah. just gonna do this for my own sanity. Let me, let me I'm go gonna move that. you down to the end. end. If you go, keep I'll shoving just your two cents yeah. in, I think I'm gonna go and say it. Okay. I just kind of have to put my foot down, and so I can finally get my two cents in. We need to get through everything, write it all down to figure out the beginning, the middle, the end, what we are doing per point, and then finalize it on this. Jack decides to step in as a- Okay, I don't really like what they just did to Sugar. I thought Sugar had some good ideas. And they're just like shutting her down completely just because she's talking fast and putting out a lot of ideas, which is what the other team was doing. And then Jax comes over, which, okay, um, I guess she's taking the reins, trying to be the team leader, but she was kind of rude to Sugar when she came over and did that. <laughs> and then also she came over to take the reins, but like she was just explaining what like the obvious is. <laughs> We need to make a plan. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do right now. <laughs> so funny if in the script, I know I'm disregarding what you yeah, do. Yeah, let's just like, oh, okay. yeah, like if you it's keep talking over it's better. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, so. Being separated from Spice right now, I honestly need my emotional support, Brad Stop, because Spice would never make me feel overlooked like these girls just did. I was not expecting to feel like an outsider already. So you are team Le Leopard. Okay, so let's set up the first scene. What does the scene look like? Um, Malaysia leading through with what the drag haggatory is. So you want the boys in there with you? Uh, yeah, yeah, we wanted them like at the bar. Where's the bar? It would be behind, behind us. us. Uh, okay, this is not gonna be great. Join our queens and have a bottomless cocktail. Time to get tipsy girl too again. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Oh wait, maybe I'm white girl wasted. <laughs> Let's keep doing shop. Now that we're on set, I'm realizing, wait, these girls were being judgy to me and completely shafted to me. They actually have nothing prepared. Like, where are the wives? Let's keep doing chops. Oh, no, no, keep doing no, no, that. No, 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 we're going to get one. We're going to get one. Honestly, this concept is not coming across at all. We are in deep water right now. All that talking that you're leading the team. What did you come up with? I'm Team Anitra. Who wants to tell me what your vision is? We're gonna uh, take you through some of the amenities this glamorous afterlife has to offer. I don't wanna give away too much. Okay, so let's go. Where am I? Oh, honey. You're, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I totally blanked. Where am I? Um, you're dead. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <clears throat> I'll be like, so good. And then you're there, and it's like all the nerves just kicked in. And action. Oh, where am I? Oh, honey, you're dead. Cut, do it again. I know you can do it better than that. She's telling me, I know you can do this better. I know you can deliver it better, so do it. 
I'm such a perfectionist, so when I get a note, I just want to die. And I feel like everybody can tell that I maybe not God. So there's a lot of pressure on her right now to deliver. Like, they gave her the God part because they're like, oh my gosh, you're a God, you know? That's how they see her. And now she's got to deliver on that. And she's nervous, like everyone else is. I'm a little confused that she forgot the line, oh honey, you're dead. <laughs> but she's nervous, she's flustered. I'm wondering if Michelle is just giving her a hard time just because she knows or she thinks that she can do better. Hi, Team Amethyst. I came up with that name. I'm really excited to be directed by Michelle since I wrote a lot of the jokes. Action. Leave your pills, poppers, and lackluster hookups out the door. We offer an all-day drag brunch. You can have a mimosa in a mimosa. <laughs> Cut. So the comedy is you're, you're in a mimosa? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now, of course, they're really focusing on Amethyst because she was in the bottom. But the, her team didn't let her really have any kind of creative direction in it at all. I mean, we I mean, we really weren't there, so we don't know. But from what we saw... Baby, it's a new day in the workroom, and woo, the judges are going to watch our infomercial. I'm excited because I'm very confident with my group. So, Sugar, how do you feel like your group went yesterday? I don't know, like they were just being so like serious and like it's to the wrong. I was like, I wanted to shake them. I did it going to stop my like, uh, it's fun. It's trash. <laughs> with the cape. I wonder if we're going to be seeing a lot of this. I like the shoes. Wow. She's gorgeous. This outfit. It's like Vegas. Wow. Love. <laughs> This feels on brand for her. I don't understand the the light at the top of her head though. It's ugly. Wow, this is gorgeous. So pretty. This is gorgeous. I love this. Wow. really pretty too. Wow. Everyone is killing it so far. Huh. I don't know. I don't love this. Yeah, I don't love this. I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. <laughs> the dog was really cute. I remember having those when I was growing up, but the fit? I like the hair a lot. Um, the fit's not bad. It's interesting. I don't love the skirt, but I can see like she's going with like space alien with it. So I see where she's like going with it, but I probably would have done a different kind of skirt. Cute though. See, this one's a little bit better with the proportions, but I still 
something about the chunky like corset bodysuits that like show the undies almost it's a little they're a little too chunky for me i think i don't know like maybe if it was like tighter to the body but it's it's a chunky piece obviously you know like these look like it looks like metal scraps or something but the hair is awesome a lot of these girls got some awesome hair see this one's done a little bit better because you can't like this one's see this one's done a little bit better because it's closer to the body for me but still it's a little chunky I think because they're just using like these metal scraps or whatever. Um, but the panty on this, I, I dislike the panty. The, uh, yeah. The color is like different from co the color in the outfit. So I see where she was going with this, but I feel like it's just not enough. Like, after seeing everyone else's metallic, like, it just feels like it was spray painted on or something, you know? Wow, she does look really good. She's gorgeous, and this outfit's gorgeous. What was the chain for? <laughs> See, hers was done better for me. Like the cool skirt with like the the chaps kind of. Yeah. This is this is very cute. This is really pretty. I like the hair a lot too. Like horns. Cool. Welcome queens. It's time for your heavenly commercials. First up, Team Anitra. They say God is a woman. <laughs> And I am. <laughs> and I'm also a drag queen and your personal guide to life's ultimate after party. <laughs> Where am I? You're dead. Well, one minute I was jumping off a box and I, well, I died a local girl. <laughs> Here, every drag queen is a superstar. Let's show you our amenities. <laughs> Here in paradise. Each and every one of our little drag superstars gets a complimentary consultation with a licensed drag queen therapist. Okay, sweetheart, you are perfect. You are beautiful. You look like Linda Evangelista. And in my professional opinion, you are wearing just enough makeup. Thanks. <laughs> wow, that's so nice of you to do all that. But where's the party? I want to turn up. I got just the place. <laughs> After a lifetime of busting this back. I'm finally doing something that I love. Absolutely nothing! Just watch. <laughs> you mean to tell me that they're tipping her all that coin for doing nothing? What is this place? Uh, look over there! <laughs> we offer complimentary hostage surgery to keep you in your back. for this afterlife? Hello, I'm Selena. I looked into the light and found myself here at... Where am I again? Palm, Palm Springs! Springs. <laughs> the afterlife is in Palm Springs? Where drag queens go to die. <laughs> Cheers. That was good. That was really funny. I liked it. She was worried about her acting, but I think she did a good job. And Selena was really good. You know, she like carried that scene really well. Next up, Team Amethyst. Hey, girl, are you gay? Do you slay? And are you gagging? <laughs> well, do we have the place for you? Follow us over the rainbow. It's heaven for fat queer people. <laughs> 
located between clouds six and nine. All you need to do is follow the dirt road up to the juice spot. I mean, that spot. <laughs> it's a luxury resort that includes cheek filler and cheek filler. Mm. And of course, facials. And facials. Leave your pills, poppers, and bad hookups out the door. Because here, we have all the fun you'll ever need. We offer an all-day drag brunch. You can have a mimosa and a mimosa. And best part of all, an exclusive meet and greet with God. Oh, howdy, y'all. It's me, Dolly Parton. <laughs> now, if you'd like to join us over the rainbow, just call 1-800-925. Lucy was a good Dolly Parton, but the rest of that was boring. <laughs> it was so boring. And now, Team Leftovers. <gasps> I think she tried to death drop, but she just dropped dead. Oh my god. Are you guys drag queens? I'm a drag hack, and I love the BLT community. Well, honey, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Drag Hagatory. Here we have bottomless cocktails. Eternal lip syncs and endless meet and greet. Can you like do my makeup first? My makeup artist is gay and I love James Charles. Of course. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Let's go over here to the bar and have a drink with the girl. Here you come. Come on, girl. Go to see your brother one right oh, here. Oh, the nightmares, babe. Oh no. I think I'm like going. <laughs> Robin, Jax, the time has come. For you to lip sync for your afterlife. Oh my god, you guys are you're you're sickening mama. Play the house down, hunty. Do it again, do it again. Again? Yeah, it's exactly what's like. Oh my god, the queen's on real parlor. You have to see you the gah. Share the lot and stay at the top. See the line, see the line. Girl, just go with it. Munch, munch, crunch, crunch. Proportionizing. Shalam. Look over there. Oh my god, you're gonna take a picture, baby. Okay, come on. Five, two, three. Okay, bye. It was so nice to see you. One more picture. Give us a call. This could be heaven for you and hell for us. It was the best day ever. I love drag queens. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Give us a call. Oh man, that was not good. <laughs> yeah. Sugar was the only person with personality. The rest of them were just standing there. Quite literally. What was the point of it? <laughs> that was that was really bad. Actually, the only notable part was when they mentioned that they all look like the past drag queens because didn't I say something about that on the Meet the Queens? They all do look like past drag queens. Also, what is Malaysia wearing? I thought it was supposed to be part of the joke and obviously it wasn't. <laughs> all right. This week, you competed as teams, but tonight, you'll be judged individually. Welcome, queens. I've made some decisions. Anitra. Selena Aesthetics. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Spice. Aura Mayari. Robin Fierce. Mistress Isabel Brooks. Sugar. Malaysia Baby Doll Fox. You are all safe. Now it's time for the judges' critiques. Starting with Sasha Colby. You were a joy to direct. Anytime I gave you anything, you listened. Every time you did the next thing, I laughed because it is so stupid. <laughs> I personally expect a lot from you, Sasha. So, so far, you've been off to a very strong start. Next, we've got Lux Noir London. Hi. I love your outfit. Hands down, my favorite look of the night. 
In the afterlife, I thought you were wonderful. You are wearing just enough makeup. And you just gave me psychiatrist's realness, darling. Thank you. And you ate it up. Up next, Amethyst. If you're gonna do the lewd thing, I feel like it has to land, and I kind of feel like they went too long, and they didn't land, and they just got kind of awkward. Yeah, I agree. I love blue humor. It just wasn't funny enough. Next, Princess Poppy. In the infomercial, I kept losing you. And it's kind of like the kiss of Jeb. You don't want to be lost in these things. The runway look is nice. It's simple, but look at the rest of the girls next to you. Girl, you need to be sparkling and more over the top. You gotta step your pussy up a bit. Up next, Lucy LaDuca. For your challenge, you killed it. Nine, two, five. You wore Miss Dolly out. Yeah, you did something very smart. You knew that you can do Dolly, and it was very funny. It was my favorite part of that infomercial. Up next, Jax. In your infomercial, I, I think I was distracted by what was going on visually with the way that you don't pad and don't cinch. Your look was all over the place. Girl, what's going on with her eye makeup and what's going on with her hair? Like, what's the tea? I did not want to go to that heaven. Thank you, ladies. Well, you enjoy delicious House of Love cocktails and mocktails in the workroom. The judges and I will deliberate. Welcome back, ladies. I've made some decisions. Lucy Laduca, you're safe. You may join the other girls. Lux Noir London, you are safe. Thank you so much. Sasha Colby, you cracked the code. Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's challenge. So, I'm going to be honest, I don't know who I would have picked to win that challenge. I think that she ended up doing well, and so I guess she rightfully won, but... I don't know if I necessarily would have had those top three. And I didn't see Lux in the top three. I thought she did an okay performance, but... And her outfit was definitely beautiful, but I didn't see her necessarily in the top three. Amethyst, Princess Puppy, Jax. We are all rooting for you, but y'all better step your pussy up. Jax, you are safe. You may join the other girls. Thank you so much, I won't disappoint you again. Princess Poppy, Amethyst, I'm sorry my dears, but you're both up for elimination. Are we doing this again? No, I don't want to do it again. Two queens, stand before me. Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me and save yourself from elimination. As far as the bottom two goes, I don't know if I necessarily would have picked them for the bottom two either. I think they definitely were in the group of who did bad. And I think honestly, a lot of people didn't really excel at this challenge. Good luck and don't fuck it up. Either of them really served it up. I think Amethyst had a great outfit for it. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about Poppy. I still don't know how to feel about Poppy. So if she leaves tonight, I will still not know how to feel about her. <laughs> I honestly can't say who's going home. I'm not sure. Ladies, I've made my decision.
amethyst. Shante, you stay. You may join the other girls. Thank you. Princess, we love you, Poppy. Now, sashay away. Thank you so much, all of you. Thank you, girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of shocked only because Amethyst lip sync last time, but yeah, I wasn't really impressed with Poppy's performance. So that exit line was funny though. <laughs> Just the burp. <laughs> I was not shocked to hear that I was in the bottom. I agreed with what the judges were saying, and now I can move on and open my uh, my meth making business. <laughs> Just cut that. Why was that the ending line they put in for her? <laughs> Congratulations, ladies. And remember, if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Can I get an amen up in here? Amen. amen. All right, now let the music play. Well, that was episode three of season 15 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Thank you guys for being here with me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Till next time.